hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel for those who are new here i am k on this channel we have spiritual talks we have vegan content and lifestyle vlogs for days in my life go ahead and subscribe to the channel and if you are not new here thank you so much for coming back i appreciate y'all so much today's topic is talk about mental health today i feel like it needs to be talked about they don't teach mental health in class they teach health but not mental health and honestly mental health is far more important than physical health because it all starts within you know so yes today's topic is talking about mental health ways to like cope with health and like ways to keep your mental health intact if you're interested in today's video keep on watching because I'm gonna give y'all some tips and gems on like things that I do and things that you can do to make sure that you're living a peaceful mind in there because we all know that the thoughts in our head just we gotta learn how to cope with that we gotta learn how to handle stuff like this because if we don't we're gonna go crazy and die at the age of 40. Mm. do y'all know how many people in the u.s who suffers from anxiety and depression alone over 48.8 percent americans suffer from anxiety and depression alone that's almost half of the world every other person that you look at suffers from anxiety suffering from depression depression or anxiety isn't who you are although i came across anxiety i came across depression and i'm pretty sure you have too if you did it this video is not for you these videos is for people who have emotions and like that 48.8 percent does varies from the age of 18 and 29 i am personally i'm 24 and like i know i experience anxiety and depression and i'm going to share some ways what i do and what you can do to help with that anxiety or depression to just have a better mental health Day. taking care of your mental health is not just for women it's for men too men are taught to like be strong hold things in you can't cry show your emotions because when you hold stuff in that's how you explode and people handle depression or stress in dangerous ways talk about it with a friend with your family or talk about it with me like i said this is a safe place you can follow me on instagram and dm me, DM me all your problems and i'm here to listen boo taking care of your mental health can help with your overall well-being improves physical health can better your relationships and it enhances your productivity mental health is really important it plays a factor in all those things so what is mental health what's the difference between mental health and physical health mental health is a state of well-being that affects people health feeling and the way that they act some common mental health challenges that people can face on a day-to-day -day life are anxiety stress sleep disorder disturbing low self-esteem addiction and eating disorder and those are just some so like all these things can literally affect your mental health and we eat on a daily basis so just imagine eating poorly every day you're messing up your mental health every day let me give you guys five strategies to improve your mental health to balance your mental health it's not just a one-time thing and then you're done mental health you have to balance it you're gonna have some good days you're gonna have some bad days but the goal is to have more more good days than bad days one way to help with your mental health is of course I'm going to start off with praying connecting with God whether you're talking to God whether you're meditating whether you're journaling reading the Bible however way you connect to God praying will definitely help with your mental health because you have some type of faith to believe in if you truly believe in God you know God wouldn't put you through rough times God put you through things that you need you get clarity from God everything just is going to make sense because when you have that relationship with God pray for better day and just know that them days are going to come that right there alone can help you with your mental health you just want to be able to have a connection with God and the more you connect with God the more easier life can become because you have that clarity you have that relationship with God God is going to lead you down that path that you need so if you have that relationship with God definitely that will place a part of your mental health another way to improve your mental health is physical activity if you're sad right you're not moving your body your body stays sad but if you like sat and you like get up and move your body you're moving your energy so that energy can shift for the better you can engage in physical activities such as yoga walking exercising or lifting weights just as long as you moving your body on a daily basis you can't just do it once you have to do it like on a daily basis so you can be able to reduce stress now this is scientific fact 
sorry guys so my camera died i'm recording from my phone so if the audio sounds a bit different or if the angle looks a little different i apologize i don't have time for my camera i really want a new camera but that's a story for another day we're talking about physical activity reduces stress and anxiety physical activity helps improve the production of your brain and it releases infodorses you want your brain cells to release those chemicals because that's what helps you reduce stress just by moving your body along another way that can help you with your mental health is eating healthy yeah i cannot stress this enough i feel like this is what my whole youtube channel is about eating healthy you literally are what you eat and i express this all the time if you focus on whole nutritious balanced food and eating less processed food so if you're eating junk food guess what you're gonna be you're gonna be junk you're gonna feel like junk you're gonna feel sluggish because that's what junk food make you feel and if you eat in food that's whole and nutritious and then after you're done eating you feel like you can go fly out of a plane I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you feel like you can just jump around, skip, then that is good because that's how you know that you're improving your mental health. You want to eat food that makes you feel good because you are what you eat. That's an example of you improving your mental health. You ever see a person who's grumpy all the time, who always have an attitude, who only talks negative and just... Oh, probably did not have a nice nutrition breakfast this morning or never had a nice nutrition breakfast. They probably eat junk food all the time. And of course, other factors can play a part in this. Why are they feeling so disgusted? Because they eat disgustingly. It's okay to have that cake sometimes. It's okay, just limit it. I'm not saying you never can have it. We're human. Sometimes I want a cookie. Sometimes I want a brownie. Sometimes I want ice cream. You know what I'm saying? I love me a good bag of potato chips and watching TV. It's okay. But if you're doing that every day, it's not okay. You wanna make sure that you're making time for good healthy foods as well. Another way that can help you with your mental health is mindful thinking. Practicing gratitude. The moments where you wake up in the morning and you practice gratitude, instead of thinking about all the things that you lack, think about all the things that you have. And then when you realize like, hmm, I do have a lot, you start feeling good. And that feeling of feeling good, that's what you want more in life because you're just gonna keep creating that feeling. Make sure that you're feeling gratitude, you're feeling grateful, even if it's just the clothes on your back i'm pretty sure if you're watching this video you got a phone be grateful for your phone not everybody have a phone you got clothes you can be grateful for the smallest minor things including the big things as well challenging negative thinking like sometimes it's easy to slip up and think negative like uh I wish I did this or I should never did this. When you start beating yourself up, guess what? You are putting stress on your body. And when you put stress on your body, you literally create anxiety. You literally create depression. So try to turn that negative thinking into positive thinking. Say, for instance, if you had a goal that you wanted to reach today and you didn't get it, that's okay. We're human. Turn it around. Instead of like, huh, yes, I didn't walk my 10,000 steps today, but I did drink plenty of water. Think of an alternative that make you feel good. Even if you got a trick your brain the body doesn't know what's real and what's not real a benefit of that is you can literally trick yourself into feeling good and it makes you know that you're actually feeling good living in the present moment is so easy to get caught up in the moment and we thinking about something that's going to happen in the future and it never happened like look at this moment nothing happened is your car repoing today no you have the ability to do something now to prevent it in the future don't think about what's going to happen in the future because then you're living in the future live in the present moment like i am alive you are alive and we're breathing and we're able to move our body in control and that's good that's what we want we want more of that feeling live in the present moment pay attention to what you have now pay attention to what you can control now it's life-changing just by living in the present moment so last but not least the fifth way of improving your mental health is take a break sometimes i know as humans we have goals that we want to get to our goal we want to work 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 so we can get to our goal take a break because that's what causes burnout because you did you work so hard and next you know you burnt out so bad now you don't even feel like doing what you need to do in the next day or two just to finish your goal that's because you're so burnt out allow yourself to work take a break work take a break one day i want to be able to officially quit smoking i know i talk about smoking weed on my channel a lot i'm balancing my relationship with weed so right now what i can say is i have been literally smoking less i used to be smoking like three drinks a day i won't even finish a whole joint so with that being said yes i want to quit smoking sometimes i do allow myself to smoke i take my breaks and then i'm like okay i will warn myself to just get high 
that's just what I do. Whatever your thing is, if you want to quit drinking or if you just want to stop getting on your phone, you want to practice towards that, but also allow yourself to give in just so you won't burn out on yourself and if you can do a cold hard turkey that's great but break it up to segment just to make it easier on you and your mind just so you can have a peace of mind allow yourself to be a human because you are not a robot take a break from working all the time nowadays society they always talk about productivity sometimes productivity is not doing nothing at all taking care of your mental health can look like taking a break resetting the mind and allowing the mind to just sit and be still and not do nothing sometimes i really do hope that this video helped just to recap on everything that we talked about the five ways of improving your mental health is praying getting closer to god that's really important making sure that you eat it healthy because everybody knows you are what you eat exactly physical activity make sure that you move your body because when you move your body you create new energy mindful thinking making sure that you're staying in the moment practicing gratitude and taking a break because the break is part of the mental health i really do hope that this video helped at least someone out there because the mental health is really important and it's not talked about a lot and like i said i could be your big sister your little sister i can be literally a listening ear here is a safe place and i promise like everything is going to be okay no matter what it may look like just know that everything's going to be okay and i am here for you thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate you all for sticking through the whole video with me and yes i will see you guys in the next video